be able to create a new custom audio sound, we recommend using a program called Audacity. So we have a pre-recorded clip here from Holly. Welcome to Mass Digital. It's currently in stereo at 44,100 Hz. We need to change the project rate down in the bottom left hand corner to 8000. And we need to change it from being a stereo file to being a mono. So we need to click split stereo to mono. We can then select one of the channels and delete them. So we only have Welcome a single channel. To Mass Digital. Still sounds just as good in mono. And then we can go file, export, export as WAV. Now we need to make sure that we do export it as a WAV file and not as an MP3, else it won't be compatible. Um, so make sure you save it as a WAV, give it a name, hit save, pop it onto a USB stick and plug that USB stick into the recorder as Stu has here. Then log into the recorder itself, so into the admin panel. And then from here we can go into the alarm settings and then alarm out port. This is where you would normally change the settings for the warning lights and the sirens, but you can also update this custom audio file. Now this will overwrite one of the files on the camera itself. So by default, if it's the first one, it'll only overwrite clip one. Select the file that you've uploaded onto the USB stick and click update. This will then push that file to the camera directly. Now being on a CVI camera and not on an IP camera, this will take a little bit longer as it has to update the camera itself. So we'll fast forward this footage. This might take anywhere between five, 10 minutes, depending on the size of the audio and the length of the audio file that you're updating to the camera. Once it has finished though, it will say update has succeeded and you can hit apply. Once it's applied, the camera will reboot. It might take a few minutes for that to happen as well. But from this menu, you can test that by clicking play. So at a later date, you can go back and click play and make sure it's working. From here, we'll go back to the live menu and we can see the camera is still restarting at this time. So you might get some funny looking colors on screen. Don't worry, give it a couple of minutes, let it restart. Once it comes back online, you'll get visual again from the camera. The resolution will update as always with the camera on the recorder, but we can now utilize that custom audio file. So if we go back into the menu and back into AI, we can then go into parameters. And if we then go to face detection, we can turn that on. We can then make sure that the siren is enabled and the warning lights are enabled have the alarm type set as general, so whether somebody is wearing a mask or not, um, it will automatically trigger that custom audio sound. So straight away, picked up Stu's face, not wearing a mask, not wearing glasses, but the audio file is playing as it should. We can also go into the PTZ control, and this will unlock some extra settings for us. So the usual options that you'll see on a CVI camera are still here. We have a few added extras now, uh, with a light and alert. So if you go into the light options, we can adjust the brightness level and the sensitivity of how sensitive it is to turning on and off. And if we go into the alert options, from here, this is where we'll adjust the settings for the red and blue flashing light and the audio file and length that is played. So if you go to audio alert and click Iris Plus to go into that, we can select the audio file, the volume from low, medium and high, and the audio duration. Now, the audio will just loop automatically for the length of the duration. So it's worth setting this to one, two, three lengths of the length of the recording that you've got set. Else you might listen to half an audio clip uh, when it plays. With that set, we can go back and we can go into the light warning options. And again, from here, we can adjust the flashing frequency and how long those lights are flashing for. So you can adjust that from low frequency, medium frequency, and high frequency, and your alert duration anywhere from zero to 30 seconds. So we'll just change this down to 10. We can go into the return option to come back a step, and the same again. And then it'll take us back to the main menu. And from here, we can go down to exit, and it'll ask us to save. So we want to save those options. And now whenever it picks up a face, it'll play that custom audio message from Holly. Thank you.